have you gone forward enough in your own mind's eye to try to figure out what's been going on at Santa Anita? I have to be careful here because I don't, like, I don't like to get, uh, I think Santa Anita, uh, I really can't, I, I don't want to, I, okay. I, I don't oh, want to say Fair enough. Maybe from a, on a broader picture, Southern California. I'll say one thing. One person at Santa Anita, more than any one single person, created the mess that we're having right now with the breakdown of horses got it started so it caught the public eye and now every, every time a horse goes down every month or so away they make an, another big scene about it because they did some things at Santa Anita and there's no secret about this Run, trying to run a few extra races to run on the grass track when, they, when it's too soggy different things that caused some of these initial breakdowns in November and December then they asked they kind of pressured our, our dear friend Dennis Moore the best track man in the country if not anywhere because he was spending a lot of money on the track, pressured him out of existence, and, let, and, he, and he resigned on January 1. By January 15th, they were begging him to come back. And, of course, I asked him just the other day, why did he ever do that? He did it for the horsemen, not for anybody at Santa Anita. I, I, I'm, I shouldn't quote him, but that, that's basically what happened.